What's up guys, Michael Lynn here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over how to delete a duplicate value nodes from a sorted linked list. So basically if you have one, two, two, three, 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 null, it's going to return you one, two, three because it removes all the duplicate values. And this linked list is already sorted. So that's a good part about it. So it just removes all duplicate values. So you don't have like, there's no duplicates. Like there's no duplicated values. It's just one, two, and three. Um, so yeah, that's just the gist of the problem statement. There's nothing else to talk about. So I'll just go into the code. So um, uh, I did this recursively. Um, you could do this like uh, iteratively if you want, but uh, I did it recursively. So basically, if you think about it, if the, the base case is like, if the list is null or the next pointer is null, then I just return the list. And the reason why is because this is going to, um, let's say we had, let's say we had uh, this list, this point list. Okay, this list of one, two, two, and then three, right? So let's say, you, uh, and this goes to null. So let's say you're at, um, let's say you're at null here. You're at the end of the list, right? Well, that means you're, you're pretty much done. You're done here, so you're gonna return the original head, right? The list of your current list, which is just your current pick. This should be called head. I don't know why they call it LL list. This is really stupid. But anyway, this is like, if you're at the end point, you just return itself. Um, if the next pointer is null also, then you just return itself. The reason why is because, like, let's say you're at this point, like, almost close to the end. Um, you just, you want to return three here, right? You're, you don't want to return, like, um, you don't want to return null. Because you're at the last of the end of the node, it's just by itself. You just want to return this, okay? So that's the base case. All right. Um, otherwise, what we're going to do is that what we need to do is we need to check if the current data that you're on if that's equal to the next data. So like if if this two, since we're trying to remove all duplicates, so duplicate values of twos. So as you can see here, this two, these two twos are duplicates, right? So we need to check if, let's say I'm on this current node here of two. I have to check if this two is equal to this two, right? To remove it. Because um, we know that sorted values are like, because we know this linked list is sorted from beginning to end, we know that if uh, we sorted, since it's sorted, we know the duplicate values are gonna be one after the other, right? That's the reason why we do this, All right? So we have to check if the current node is equal to the next node, okay? So if it is equal to the next node, what I do is I just return the list after it. So I recursively call my current function and I pass in the next value. So what this means is that I'm going to just recursively call the next value of this, right? So I'm gonna recursively call this next value and uh, I just return this next value. Um, yeah. Uh, then the reason why I do this is, uh, yeah. The reason why I do this is because if you recursively just return the next value of the recursive call, it's going to set your two later to equal to the next value of three later on. So here, the, ne the next part of the code is basically what I'm doing. Otherwise, if it's not equal to it, so let's say I'm at, let's say I'm at this point. So I'm recursively calling this function on the next value. And I have this, right? I have this two and I have this three, right? I'm going to set the current list of this two's next to equal to the remove duplicates of the next value. So what this is doing is that it's going to set the this current two is going to set it equal to uh yeah, it'll set this two is going to equal to the next value of two. So it's gonna set two's is gonna equal to three point to three, and then it just returns the current list of currently at two. So then at this point, this 
both of these twos are gone, and then we just have one, two, and then three. So I could show you guys um, what I mean, how this works in the method signatures. So if uh, I'll show you through the recursive calls because it's pretty hard to under uh, think about this if we're just doing it by itself. So here, let's just uh, okay. So here is let's say we're at. So here, let me just paste my link list, single link list. Yep. Okay, we paste these, we paste this, paste this, and we paste this. Right, and then we have this, single link list node. Uh, this is a class. Uh, ideally, this should work, yeah. Um. Next, all that is that this has to be public. Oh, let's make it struct. Then I'll have all the public methods. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's actually create our linked lists of like three different nodes. So let's do that. And I'll show you guys what how this code works underneath the hood. Okay. So let's create our linked list. Let's say I have one, two, two, three. So um, I'm gonna create a linked list here. Okay, so then we have this uh, list, new, single link list. You know what? I'm going to create a, I'm going to create a constructor because this is really like, this is really annoying. real quick uh let's create like three and then one and the next point to like null for now why can't i do this okay um okay so let's actually create like one two two three so i'm gonna copy this paste this is gonna be point two and then this is gonna be three one two two and then one more three Okay, so we have like or one and then two and then two. Uh, let's just call it like one. Uh, that's three. Let's call three, two, 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 three, two, 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 and then we'll call this one. Okay, so then one's next is going to be two, one, and then two, uh, two's next is going to be here, and three is going to be here. And three is actually null point. Okay, so now once we have our all our lists, let's actually remove duplicates and then we print it out later. So let's call it remove duplicates, passing in one, and then I'll just set like one is equal to this. Okay. All right, I'll show you guys how this works. So we have one, two, two, three, and we're gonna recursively call on it. We're gonna call remove duplicates. So here. What is, what, it, what is it going to do? We're going to go get inside here. And um, first of all, this is not going to do anything, right? Because they're not null. Does one equal to two, right? Does this one equal to this two? No, it doesn't. Currently it doesn't, right? Uh, let me actually just get rid of this. Yeah, currently it doesn't. So we'll just go to this part. So it's going to recursively call lists next. It's going to recursively call on the next function. So it's going to recursively call on this, okay? So this one's next is going to point to recursively call here. Now, does two's next equal to uh, the next node of two, right? Yeah, it does. Does this two, does this two equal to two? It does, right? So what it's going to do is it's going to call return remove duplicates on the next one. So what is this going to do? Uh, now our data is just going to be two and then three. So it, what it did was it's going to 
go back here, they're recursively called on this next one. On these, right? Two, three, null. Okay. And then uh, does it does two equal to three? Yeah. Does this current node of two equal to three? It does not. So it skips that. And then it says um, two, our current two's next is going to point to move duplicates of recursively call on the next one. So currently we, our list two is at two, and we're gonna set its next is gonna recursively call the next one. So two's next is going to recursively call on the next one of three. So if we're recursively calling on three, we'll be like that, right? We're gonna recursively call on three. So yeah, we're gonna go inside here. Now does three equal to null pointer or three's next equal, it does, so we return three. So after this occurs, two's next is going to point to three. Okay, so two, we have a data of less than two. It's next is going to point to uh, three, as you can see here, right? Two's next is three. So what this did was it set two's next is going to point to three. Okay. Now, um, yeah, two's next is pointing to three. Now we're going to return two. So once we return two, it's going to return two here. And we go back up to the top and uh, we return two, three here. Okay. And we're not setting two, the, the previous nodes equal to the remove duplicates because they are equal to. So now it just comes back to the top and we have two, three here. Now, when we come, go back to the next recursive call, our list is now one. So our current head of our list is this one. And this one's next is going to point to the remove duplicates value of two and three. See, now we have one, two, and then next is three, and then it's all. And then we return one here. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist, and that's why we have one, two, and three. Basically, um, when you do a recursive call and you're removing duplicates, what we're doing is a recursively calling on the same, same uh, method, and then if it is equal to it, we just skip this node and we'll go to the next one. Like we don't actually set our pointer to equal to the next node. We just skip it. Like we skip this current node. And we don't set it point the next one to equal to the next one. So that's why we just return our following node of lists next. So yeah, it's the gist of this code. I hope you guys understand what I was doing. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.